Good day, everyone. This is um, Sam PS 1014, and we're going to be discussing uh, the review of quiz number four. So this one here was on networking, and again, um, we'll review all 20 questions. Uh, typically in class, we'll only review the ones that are um, the high percentage of you got wrong. And um, for these individual questions, if you feel that um, your question is correct and you want to challenge it, then you submit the question with the answers and the answer you chose, and then any um, cite any source that's uh, valid that um, you would want to challenge it on. They will be entertained, but you must do the following in order to do so. All right, so question number one says, a blank network can contain servers as well as individual computers, and the answer is a client-server network. This is where the client controls, um, sorry, the, the server controls the network, usually house any applications or um, data, and the, the clients access that. Question number two, the computers in a lab on the floor of a building would be, con would be connected using a blank, and that would be a LAN, local area network. Many of you can see those if you go into the various um, UB um, campuses and go into one of the computer labs. Those are connected using a LAN, right? Um, the uh, network, which is set, which, I'm sorry, a network blank, which is a set of rules uh, for how information and communications are exchanged. And in this one here, the answer is B, protocol, right? Just like when you go into a particular meeting, they'll, they'll have an established set of communication protocols where then I have to raise your hand, how you're recognized, and so forth. The same thing here. Question number four, blank is the amount of data that can be transmitted across a transmission medium measured in bits per second. And the answer is bandwidth. So that's like example when you go buy your internet connection, you, you find out how much bandwidth you're going to get, what speed you're going to get. Question five, blank cable is not subject to electromagnetic, in, electromagnetic interference or radio frequency interference, and that would be fiber optic. That is how um, BTL gets its uh, internet to be able to sell to you. It comes through fiber optic cables under the, uh, under the, under the ocean floor, right? Number six, in a client server network, each network node, which is actually a computer on the network or a device on the network, communicates directly with every other node on the network. And that answer is false. They must go through the server. Question number seven, wireless access points can provide coverage wherever employees are working with portable devices, such as in conference rooms. And that answer is true, right? Um, question number eight, a MAC address and IP addresses are the same thing, and the answer is false, right? Each individual device on a, on, a, um, on a network would be assigned its own MAC address, whether it's a cell phone, it's a printer. Um, these are physical devices that are known when they're made and manufactured. The IP address could be reused, um, but you can't have two um, addresses with the same, or two devices with the same IP address at the same time, so that's where it gets a little confusing, right? Question number nine, uh, a blank address is the address where the external entities using uh, use when communicating with your network, and that is IP address, which is the internet protocol. Question number 10, blank is the standard communications protocol used on most client server networks, and that answer is going to be ethernet. Question 11, data uh, are sent through a network in bundles called packets. Careful that you don't choose the word packages, it's packets, right? In public encryption key, the two keys, one is for coding and one is for decoding, are known as, and that's called the key pair. So you have to have the one that encodes and the one that decodes so you can encrypt it and de-encrypt it so it could be read. Client server networks are controlled by a central server that runs specialized software called, and the answer is B, a network operating system. Question 14, strong encryption now requires how many bit keys? And the answer is 256. Question 15, many cameras support wireless connection so you can transfer images without connecting cables. That is true. Packet blank is a form of protection for your computer that looks at each packet that comes into your computer network. And that answer is screening, packet screening. 17, a peer-to-peer, P2P network is an example of a blank administration. And the answer is local. So that's like if you're at home and you want to connect two devices to each other, there's basically there's no um, server controlling that data communication. Each device is equal on the network, right? In 18, number question 18, in an, uh, an Ethernet network, the signal is that is sent to indicate a signal collision is called a blank signal. And the correct answer is jam. Question 19, a blank topology uses more than one topology when building a network. So if you use two, such as a mesh and a star, 
uh, type topology, then that would be a hybrid, right? Kind of like a, a car that runs on gas and is electric, they call that a hybrid vehicle. It runs on more, more than one type of fuel source. Question 20, blank enables your computer to connect to other computers on the internet, and the answer is a NIC card, which is a network interface card. And that is your quiz 20 review, I'm sorry, your quiz number four review and the 20th question. Thank you very much.